Arabesque 7 is a powerful DVD Blu-ray authoring program for Bogart Editing Systems. Before launching the Arabesque program, go to the project you plan to create a disc from in Arabesque. Now, select the Bogart Edit menu. Scroll through the storyboard and add a chapter mark on the scenes you want to use as a chapter point. Go to the Bogart main menu. Select and launch Arabesque 7. The first menu option in the upper left is the Environment section. Select the Assistant menu. A dialog box appears with the message, Would you like to create a disc in video DVD or in Blu-ray format? For this demo, select Blu-ray. Next, select a film. Choose an HD film from one of the 30 projects in Bogart. You have the option to rename the film for the menu here. Select Continue. Next, define the data rate. Select Optimal. Next, select the reference media. Choose Blu-ray 25GB. Next, you have the option to select a scene image for the film button. Choose a scene from the scene bin that best represents the film. Select Continue. Next, you have the option to add a secondary film if you wish. For this demo, we will use just one. Select Continue. Now, choose the behavior of the disk menu. Select Jump to Menu. Next, select the menu template. Choose the template design. Next, choose the background and set as template. Select Continue. Now select Burn Disk, Export ISO, or Edit Disk with Arabesque. Select Burn Disk. You have now created a Blu-ray disk using the Assistant mode in Arabesque 7. Now let's create a standard definition DVD using the Arabesque 7 Assistant mode once again. Select the Assistant menu. In the first menu, Select DVD Video. Next, select a film. Choose an HD film from one of the 30 projects in Bogart. You have the option to rename the film for the menu here. Select Continue. Next, define the data rate. Select Optimal. Next, select the reference media. This time, choose DVD. Next, you have the option to select a scene image for the film button. Choose a scene from the scene bin that best represents the film. Select Continue. Next, you have the option to add a secondary film if you wish. For this demo, we will use just one. Select Continue. Now choose the behavior of the disk menu. Select Jump to Menu. Next, select the menu template. Choose the template design. Next, choose the background and set as template. Select Continue. Now select Burn Disk. Export ISO or Edit Disk with Arabesque. Select Burn Disk. Arabesque 7 will now down convert your HD project to standard definition. You have now created a standard definition DVD using the Assistant mode in Arabesque 7. In the following demo, we will use the manual authoring mode. In the main Arabesque 7 menu, select the Projects menu. There's the option to work with 10 separate projects. Select a new project. Change the default name from DP2 to Stock Footage. Select the target format and set it to Blu-ray HD. Next, select the Quality menu. Choose either Automatic, Manual, or Movie Individual. Automatic mode auto-adjusts the data rate according to the video data content. For this demo, select Manual. Next, choose the reference media. Select Blu-ray 25GB. Next, select the data rate menu. Choose Reduced, Slightly Reduced, Optimal, or Increased. Select Optimal. Next, Choose either compressed or uncompressed audio. Compressed audio allows more data space on the disk. For this demo, select Uncompressed. You have the option to copy a disk project to another project. The 
Read ISO Image option enables you to import a previously ISO saved project back into Arabesque 7 in order to burn additional DVD copies. Next, select the Settings menu. The first option is Use Hardware Acceleration. This incredible feature is available on Casablanca Generation 4 systems. It utilizes the Intel QuickSync technology called Smart Booster. This greatly reduces the disk creation time. Next, select the Frequent Prompts option. This feature informs you of the current stage in the disk creation process. Select the Close Drawer on Exit option. Select the Use Two Drives option if you are using a Casablanca unit that is configured with two DVD drives. In the Miscellaneous menu, this menu displays Media Info, Drive Info, Copy Disk, and Clear RW Disk. Next, select the Prepare menu. Select the Movies menu. Select Add Movie. Choose an HD film project. There's the option to select just a portion of a storyboard to burn by choosing the Select Range option. Next, select the Chapters menu. The partitioning enables the following options. No chapters, each scene, every five minutes, every 10 minutes, custom, and adopt from Bogart. Select adopt from Bogart. These are the scenes we marked in the storyboard during the editing process. In the naming menu are options to use the scene names or numbered. Next, in the shaping menu section, the menu templates choose load, then scroll through the choices and select a template. Next, select the main menu. In the title menu, the first option is control. This determines the behavior of the disk menu. In the disk start menu, choose between menu with first movie, then menu, first movie not in menu, with first movie, first movie also in menu. Next, select the background menu. Choose between color, image, animated image, scene image, and animated scene image. In the overlay menu, choose none, static, or animated. If you select an animated scene, there is the option to use the audio from that scene. Next, select the text menu and type a text for the main menu title. In the buttons menu, choose between image, animated image, scene image, animated scene, and transparent. In the button text menu, type the name, select a font type, and style. Then set the position of the button. Set the button border, shadow, and button activation. The button activation are options to set the selection color and the activation color. Choose the strength of highlighting the outline button, underline text, mark button area, and mark text. Next, in the chapter menu, set the context of the chapter pages, number of chapters per page, and view actual page. Next, in the background menu, choose between image, animated image, scene image, and animated scene. In the overlay menu, choose none, static, or animated. Next, set the chapter menu text. Type the name, select a font type, and style. Next, in the buttons menu, choose between image, animated image, scene image, and animated scene as well. Adjust the size to small, medium, big, free evenly, and stretched. Next, in the button text menu, type the name, select a font type, and style. Lastly, set the button border, shadow, and button activation colors. In the upper left section of each control menu, there are options to copy changes only to actual element, copy changes also to equal elements, copy changes to all elements. In the finish menu, there's the option to preview how your disk menu will appear and behave before you actually burn a disk. This is a great feature. You are now ready to burn a disk. Select the burn icon. In addition, 
there's the option to export the complete project as an ISO file. Select the ISO icon to start the export process. Arabesque 7 for Bogart Windows and Linux. Macro System